Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Rain Day Gaming. Today we are going to play an interesting style of pip. It's Mega Potion. It's not the. It's not like a crazy out of the box. I mean, Mischief or Combat Medic. Those are definitely way more out of the box. I'm I'm a firm believer that Combat Medic needs a buff to be viable. I think 600 isn't enough, but I do think that it it, it has its. I don't even know if it has its place. I honestly don't know if it has its place. I, but Mega Potion certainly does. We're going to roll with our Mega Potion build and try and do our best. I even made a deck. I tried to do a video. It didn't work. But we're going to try and do a great Mega Potion uh, video. I don't know if I actually have a loadout for it. Are you kidding me? All right, I have it here. Okay, I have it here. Here's my Mega Potion. All right, Gift Giver. Medicinal Excellence 5, Reload 5. These cards got nerfed, but Side Tank Smithereens always good. Filling cards as well for Pip. Just in general, Gift Giver 2. Or if you want to even run that at 3, I wouldn't be mad at you. We're going to go Kronos as well. We're going to start it all off. Happy Monday, by the way, everybody. And uh, we do have some decent front lines and chunky, chunky uh, damage dealers to go with. I actually played against one of these dudes here. And here's where I need to heal myself. Oh, hello. Here's what I'm going to do. I understand that you've rotated, but I'm going to rotate back. We got slow damage here. We found the kill. How am I not hitting her? Get back to, to my spot. And basically, we just waited, and we ended up winning that fight. That was beautiful. So, they tried to counter-rotate us. It wasn't a bad idea from the Ash. But because she doesn't have... We didn't use our, our skills. She had no way to be able to, to ensure that she was going to be fine. There's a Mega Potion heal right there. Get one more. That's what Reload's for. That's what the card's for. And he should stay alive, right? If he's not, then... What the heck is going on? We're going to apply some offensive pressure here. Apply some more pressure there. We're going to back off. We're going to get some vision. This is a good spot for us to kind of hang out with. I want to start moving left side because that's the most contested spot usually. But we do need to heal this Victor up. He's cauterized. That's what the green means. And there's a slow as well. Explosive flash. Try to hit these guaranteed shots. Uh, we're going to get we're gonna get our heals over there. And then we're going to start to rotate one more time. I don't think I can get the Victor before he dies. Yep. Victor's been... He's been straddling death this entire time. But that group up is fantastic. We're going to get it onto, onto the Eevee. I feel like there was a rotation down there. Oh my god, it keeps clipping. I guess that's one of the only problems of having the radius be a little bit bigger, is that sometimes it will clip. But because we've taken advantage of this the situation, we can... Oh, it hit the shield. Ooh, I want to get around there. Wait, is someone rotating? No, they're not. All right, so far, so good. And you can see with Mega Push, it could be just so dramatic. I mean, it's a full heal, right? Onto so many people. And that worked a lot in our favor. Get the victor nice back and healthy and then it's another little heal for both of them medicinal excellence means that my heal is getting that much bigger and uh, i think that means that you guys are going to find value in these cards gift giver again so you can just be healing staying sustained a lot of other healers have cards like that uh maldamba i'm not even sure ritual magic right when he's healing he's getting heals this is exactly what it is for pip running that level two 40 percent of of uh healing potions effect is a lot uh side tank's great 0.6 extra duration it feels like forever when you're hit with it at base so adding a little bit more is great medicinal excellence means that it has that big radius but sometimes it will clip on those little surfaces so you have to be aware um smithereens too is great every time you hit your uh, explosive flash you get some ammo back because that's usually what you want to do after you hit that somebody's slow you want to take advantage of it and then of course reload it's got a five second internal cooldown and one of the things that i see a lot of players not utilize is the fact that sometimes you don't want to use the five second internal cooldown now maybe you want to throw a heal out and you could throw your second heal get that cooldown but you don't need to because of the fact that uh you know like uh, no one's about to die. Like, right there, I don't need to use my heal again. I'll wait. Now, they have a lot of pressure, a lot of damage. This, this uh, this little Fernando is being a pain in the butt cheeks. I think, I think he was trying to say something to me. Look at this. Look at this Fernando flanking us better than the Ash. Ash, take notes. Take notes. Uh, but I hope you guys, you guys are kind of, like, understanding a little bit about what I was saying there. We got heals here. It's that. Oh, yeah two for the money oh no hello dredge telling me hurl's gonna be better than scuttle get out of my face i think scuttle's gonna be absolutely what never mind that was just broadside okay screw that he was running scuttle though let's if he was running scuttle doesn't make i'm not wrong <laughs> well, i do th i do think scuttle's gonna be better hrx oh yeah oh man the the tree I'm gonna have to take this this top side here. Yeah, I've come back mechanic. I'm gonna have to touch. That was big. That was big. I, I survived. Use the enlightenment. And now the ash is there. Do we have an immortal? We do. Fernando's gonna pop into that now. 
Going for my cauterize, there's the accursed arm. Looks like Nando's down. I think they've basically taken this fight over from us. Uh, but I don't mind it. We we definitely just got flanked by the dredge. That was like that was what turned it all around. Once I was dead, I couldn't get back to the fight. I had to sacrifice myself. If anyone else besides me had died a little earlier, it would have been okay. Um, and actually, and actually, the Eevee probably died a little late. She wasted all that time for us. She she bought all that time for us. But now we needed it, right? Finish her off. No, I ain't having that, dog. Uh, you're gonna teleport, but homie. I know where you at. I know where you live. Gotta keep your eye on the heels when possible. I'm glad I was able to save Nando there. He did a really good job of stalling out. See, I could use it right there, right? Is there a need? Maybe. Oh, God. See, and now it's the seven second cooldown. I could have waited for a little bit, not use it. But you have to wait five seconds. Um, and that was a little bit of a little bit of a worry here. So we're gonna be able to push back. They are being a little more aggressive. There's healing to be given, so why not? Uh, and five second cooldown is very, very low. I mean, in general, speaking of things like this, it's pretty low. I actually don't feel confident about my location. Good thing that heals through walls. You have to be careful here. Dang, dude, that was a that was a bummer. That was a bummer. I had to give that to her. Couldn't give it to Nando. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Oh, dredge! Oh, scuttle dredge. Scuttle dredge. It's more than good. It's great. Nice stuff. All right, but so far we're doing a pretty good job, I think. I mean, I've only died three times as a healer in a game like this with this much blast damage, this much pressure. I feel pretty good about that. We have to get over here. They're gonna they're gonna start rotating. We already see it. Dredge wants to take this. If we give it to Dredge and Ando, we are in trouble. But I keep looking at Eevee, and I have to look at Nando here, heals-wise. Thread the needle. Oh, that was big. That was important. And especially when people group, right? Because it's 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 the compound nature of Mega Potion. That's what makes it so good. That's why teams like G2, when it works, it's just so fantastic. It, it works so well. It's that you're not just healing 2,400 health, right? To one person. It's in a huge area. I mean, everyone could be low. And you could essentially get, with four people, up to 10,000 extra health. In a fight that the team is going in saying, but how? Where did this all come from? What is this magic sorcery that I'm looking at? And that's that's the beauty of, of a Mega Potion style. Taking the dredge down, definitely a big priority for us. We haven't been able to do it too well. But uh, we when we did and we like we started off with that, it ended up, it ended up really working out. I like that people are going into Rejuvenates. Um, that's going to help me as well. I think the Life Rips, uh, interesting choice, but maybe he feels I haven't been healing him very much. Or maybe he feels he doesn't need it. That no aim scuttle spam has to go. See, we knew it was gonna go to that once once her was there, right? Uh-oh, I gotta go. Uh-oh. I gotta go. This is bad. It's bad. I had to take low ground here. I had to just to survive. I'd rather use it and stay alive than than die. Honestly. Now she's isolated. Dude, I don't... Oh, what? Wait, how is she alive, dude? Dude, please end. Please end. Let's go, Lazy. Let's go. Yes, 2,800, baby. Let's get it. Come on, now. I got to back off. This is more damage than, we, than you would expect. It's more damage than you would expect, for sure. There it is. We got him. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, baby. Woo, good zone. Had my heart going a little bit. That zone was not easy to pull off. 
And and the scuttled dredge was a big deal, and I guess that's a great narrative, a great talking point to start bringing into the conversation here for you viewers. For everyone excited about HRX coming up the 16th, the 18th, but it also starts off November 5th through the 10th. We're going to be qualifying the best teams around the world, 15 teams, and I'll be casting that action. You got the privilege of, privilege of, of being part of the rainstorm here on the YouTube channel, getting the home vibes, then going to see me out and work. Playing the same game, it's, it's a beautiful synergy here, guys. So uh, make sure to tune into that. I think Scuttle Dredge is going to be what, if we do see Dredge, is the biggest key. And I actually end up beating out uh, the the Maldaba in this game. And I think hopefully, even though we it's a 10-minute game, right, it doesn't last very long, it gives you an idea of the impact of what Mega Potion Pip can do. And you expand these numbers, you're looking at a very decent amount of healing. And de definitely now when you look at like two tanks stacking, right? Because if I have two tanks that I'm healing up for 2,400 each time I'm throwing at it, that's a whole nother level. And that's where we see G2 Esports. They get these big players. They get these group mentality kind of group up on the point. Everyone get together, big heal. And that's where those numbers can get insane for Mega Potion Pips. Um, it's really, really fun. Really, really rewarding. I'm actually really happy with this because one of the things I look for myself as a player and i'm glad i got i'm really glad i got top uh <laughs> best best healer best in class but one of the best things i really I, I really look for is deaths how many times do i die because every time i die i'm not healing every time i'm not healing i'm not helping my team things are going worse for us and i'm also losing potential stats for my own game and my own benefit right uh the maldaba die six times i die three that's half i think that's a really big like step, talking point that whatever it was i was able to keep myself in the fight and that because i keep my healing in the fight gives my team a chance to win and we ended up zoning out pretty well in that last one hopefully you guys enjoyed that video as always leave a like subscribe comment and enjoy and make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow's video as well coming at you hot in the morning if I can and all goes well. As always, my friends, remember to never give up, never stop gaming, and I'll see you all in the realm.